one of whom my name is Cool Life Fresh. But you call me my C. Okay, man. Hey, man. Today we have match um match prison time to a person. Hey, listen, guys. Um, prison is kind of like crazy. People get people. Is it thirty seconds? If I be started, is it thirty seconds? How long? What the time rate, guys? I don't know, I can't. It ain't telling me. Whatever. But yeah, like, I don't care. People got raped in prison, um, killed in prison. There's a whole bunch of stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? I always, and I actually thought about being a correctional officer anyway. So this is low key a time to actually, like, see what type of people we're going to, how long they be dealing with. So, I, if y'all didn't know, after high school, but if life ain't working, I'm either going to the military or, or working somewhere in criminal justice or just be a regular civilian, you know? You feel me? But let's go ahead and get straight into it. I don't, I don't know why I didn't show the second sort of thing. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. That jump blew me, but I, I, I can't control it. So what did you do? I got charged with uh, <laughs> possession of MDMA with intent to distribute. So yeah, you're yeah. like partying and then just selling it on the side? I don't know. I was a full-time drug dealer. <laughs> you didn't have to... Man, this nigga, this dude look like the average guy, like a normal guy. And this dude probably sell crack, cocaine. What are, you know you know what the white you know what the white boys be doing? Hey, buddy, tell me. But y'all know the white boys be doing baby selling crack, coke, so what did you cocaine, heroin. What's that other stuff? That stuff where you die? I don't even know. You, you I got charged with uh, <laughs> possession of MDMA with intent to distribute. So yeah, you're yeah. like partying and then just selling it on the side? I don't know. I was a full-time drug dealer. <laughs> you didn't have to say all that. <laughs> Damn. You're good now, though, right? Because oh, yeah. this is on camera. Hello. Oh, what's your name? I'm Eddie Purpose. My name is Raymond. Have you ever done any prison time? I have been to prison. One sentence a year and a day. At 16 years old, I actually left school to go commit a robbery and ended up uh, serving 12 and a half years for that crime. Dang, my a year. dad was in prison all of my teenage years and got out when I was an adult. What did he go in for? Uh, so what happened to you? What, why, why you ain't? What you got to do with this? Nonviolent drug charges. What did you go to prison for? Some family bullshit. Somebody was messing with my sister, and you know, I Tight. handled my business. Yeah, you a real nigga. <laughs> you like me, bro. I'm sliding, bro. I'm, st I'm standing on all business, and I'm gonna crash out. Some got locked up. If you knew me in middle school, you might have heard hear me say that like my dad was dead because that's what I told people at first because I was ashamed. I got out when I was 31, and I had a desire. Damn, nigga, you look 60. While I was in there to uh, start my own organization to focus on young people and help try to prevent yeah, facts. individuals That's what a lot of people from taking people the say. same path. Once I took there, by to just, you know, the having a mentor there, having somebody who cares, yeah. and provide them with various services. Today, you're going to guess how long people have been in prison. Okay. I'm ready. All right. You nervous at all? No. Not even a little bit. Listen, guys, Looking at that actually, left. I want to say. I know, I know this, but I want to go in prison for like just one day, like two or three days. Cause I feel like, bruh, when I walk in that bit, I'm going to walk in that bit with that masculine energy. Hold on, let me show y'all first. So I'm going to walk in that bit. I'm going to walk in that bit with my chest high, walk in. You see what I'm saying? I know y'all can't see my face. But wait, wait, my camera. Hold on. Yeah, my camera. So I'm going to walk in that bit like this. Walk around. Like, if you walk in there like these... Like, you look sad with your hands in your pocket. Well, you're going to be carrying stuff. You just look like shocked, like... Yeah, they're going to tell you one of them little boys, but nigga like me, I'm walking that bit, like, I'm walking that bit strong, car diesel, bro, I, I swear, and I want a nigga to try me, because you know, in prison, you got to get in the fight once in your life, like, in prison, you're going to have to fight just to hold your ground, but I feel like, man, if a nigga want to come in there and check me on some lame stuff, we just going to have to set it down, because I want to get that, that, that uh, drilling, bro, I want to beat a nigga ass, so I can show them niggas, no, don't mess with a nigga like me, because when I come up in that bit, I swear, I'm, I'm going to swear, you come in my cell, check me on some lame nigga stuff, I promise you, bro. I'm going to crash, bro. Like, I'm probably going to crash your head to that wall. Now, I'm a, I might also get my ass beat, because you got to see them guys in prison, they lift weights for a living, bro. That's what they do. They fight for a living. They crash outs for a reason, bro. That's, they live with other crash outs, so all of them are crash out dummies. But nigga like me, I walk in that bit. I, I ain't going gonna, gonna, gonna to be scared, though. I'm going to hold my one. Nigga tatted up full dray head, bald head, and go come check me. A number of I'm still on, I'm on whatever, bro. Two, five, I'm twenty, twenty three. Whew. Hey. That's some time, bro. Even just the like comparatively lower seven years that my dad was in caused such a physical years, toll dude. on every aspect of him. Everybody, come on out. It's good. What's up, Madam Eddie, man? Myron, come on forward. What's up, Myron? Nice to meet you. 
How many he probably looked like he did chasing? like four. What types of programming or positive things did you do to help yourself become better? I did every single class that they offered in the facility, mm -hmm. and I did every single uh, workout class. Actually, I taught every single workout class after that. Oh, Myron, did some time now. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do for a living right now? I work for myself. I have a few companies. One that make the most <laughs> money and enjoy the most. Come out, have you, oh, they have their own thing. But me and my, my regular people, we be throwing bots at the wall. I'm an artist. Were you able to do art while you were incarcerated? I was. Actually, I started painting in prison. Really, that's where my art career started. Because if you were locked passion. up for 20, 30 year life or whatever, and you ain't seen your kids, and you, can, and you got can drive, pictures, yeah. right, and I put yeah. you in there with your kids or with your mama that passed away or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, People drawing stuff for you, and it was tight. Yeah. You, you want that. That's a blessing. When you re-enter society, what was one of your biggest challenges and why? Being around people. How long did it take you to adjust? I feel like I'm still adjusting. People act like out on the street like they're all civilized and there's people in prison all, you know, monsters and shit. People out got no respect, no respect for boundaries. It's just, I mean, you know. It's, yeah, people it's, in this world don't have respect for people, bro. Is it hard to like, come like, up like, with a like, Yes. Like, like people be coming the, the, the fast food drive throughs they be talking crazy. Listen, bro, I'll take this McDonald's shirt off and come out there and whoop your ass, man. You better stop talking like you damn crazy, bro. I, I'm not one of them guys. It's hard to come up with a number. I think it's more than seven months. <laughs> For sure. I would say 13 years. I'm gonna say 13. I don't know about that. Why 13? I don't know, I'm just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, cause he didn't even ask that many questions. I'll just guess it. Thank you, Myron. Five years. Absolutely. Alright, yeah, you can yep. Next. <laughs> he do five years? I don't think you did 23, man. I don't think you're old enough. <laughs> How old are you? 26. 26. So he didn't yeah. unless you got booked when you was three or something, but uh are you comfortable telling me what you did to get in? You can say no. Uh I uh sold drugs to a cop. Oh, okay. What? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't that good. It wasn't that good. It wasn't. No, 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 no. I am some cops not to buy drugs. So I remember this time I was working at Krispy Kreme, and this lady, this I'll lady, she you just going up to people in the club like, hey, you want for having I'm weed? On. I had the drug and gang task right, force of my county so cops weed storm my somewhere. house and uh, search the whole place. <laughs> and, uh, luckily, so I, I was able to get out and uh, get a lawyer and get, it, get yeah. it fought and actually have a fair case. Fair case, but you still sold the drugs I to the popo. -po, still so. got narked on. What was the first thing you ate when you got out? Red Robin, pineapple teriyaki bonsai burger. How did your body handle that? It, it would love it. <laughs> I'm just thinking about like how much food messed up my dad when he got out. Every time he tried to eat anything that wasn't like plain chicken breast, it messed him up and it hurt his stomach. And he it's had... like super processed and really low quality, so you get that real meat and fat in you. It's over. Yeah. yeah. What did reentry look like for you? It wasn't as hard for me as it was for others. I've because I kept in contact with a couple of people. Uh, I was able to get back to a steady work right away and have a pretty good support system. The fact that he stayed in contact with multiple people, I, just I, passing through. I think I could tell. Yeah, just passing through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My man did seven months. I'm gonna give him the two years. You're young. Yeah, I say seven months too. Responded to food. I would go too. All right. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'll show you that they don't tell you. That looks like a prison tattoo. Is that a prison tattoo? <laughs> it's, not a prison it's, tattoo. tattoo. it's not. Well, do you have any prison tattoos? I do. Are you comfortable Genius telling me what you need to go in? A robbery, Resberg, oh, okay. possession, theft. Ray, can you try to speak up for me? Uh, robbery, <laughs> Resberg, theft, assault, <laughs> possession, <laughs> trafficking. <laughs> did you have a drug problem back then or something? I did. You did, yeah. yeah. You doing good now though? I'm doing good now. Yeah. Did your family hold you down? I didn't really have them to hold me down, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. My, I mean, I, my mom would send me 10 bucks here and there, you know? Were you in a relationship? Every, yeah, I was like... But they didn't... No. Nah. Probably were gone for a while if they didn't want to wait, maybe. Well, I was a dirt bag. Was okay. <laughs> He's a dirt bag, but still, like seven months, you might hold a dirt bag down. <laughs> well, I don't know, man. How many prisons have you been to? I ain't seven? care, bro. My girl says she's going to prison for a year or two years. My baby, I'm not holding it down. The first three months, you get the money, put it on the books. You know what I'm saying? After that, I got to leave for the coach, for the hospitality. And what is that an indication of? If you've been to multiple prisons, for me, nine times out of ten, you've done multiple years. Yeah, I'm going to go with five. 
it was a violent crime. The girl left you because you was a dirtbag or whoever it was. So I'm going to say 13. I'm thinking 10 years seems reasonable given the information I've been given. All right. Sweet. I'll take it. 10 years. Nice to meet you. Now, it's, yeah, I, I think this might be the big numbers or else I got the big numbers wrong already. Oh, so we're going to see. It's okay to be wrong. It's okay to be wrong. What's up, bro? Good to see you, man. We obviously know each other. Mm hmm I let's, let's, say. let's say that part. Like, we were in the cell together. We were literally in the cell together. This is when he used to think he was the R&B artist. Yeah. You still think you're an R&B artist? <laughs> I still think he's in the cell together. Gang, gang, that's what? crazy. Like a reunion, bro. Like a family. Uh, could I just say it was, it involved a gun? Yeah, it did. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
They might, they might, they might wake up one day and just go rob the bank, bro. Just because they feel feel good doing it, bro. They had the plan, the master GTA plan, and yeah. You committed a crime, you have a weapon, it's like an enhancement. There's gang enhancements, weapon enhancements. I don't know if it doubles the time. They add on an extra five years. Yeah. Five, five years, months. yes. Yeah, I got I got friends in there right now that have like got sentenced to robbery for like twelve years, but got over like sixty years of gun enhancement. Yeah. Damn. It's not fair. It's my last number, so I'll give you five. I'm gonna say ten. It was a violent crime. He got a weapon enhancement. So, um, yeah, I think that would double his time. So, ten years. It's up in the air with Ray and Matt. I feel like they could be split. Okay. You want to flip them? <laughs> yeah, you gotta yeah, go there. Definitely got to <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me go Ray with five and Matt with two. All right. So, show of hands, who did Raymond guess correctly? Okay. I knew it. I knew this one. Yeah, it makes sense. I'm no expert. Take a look, take a look. Go. Oh. I guess I'm all right? Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing, but. All right, well, let's talk about it. Myron, please. Wait, 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 back wait, 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 go back. He was right by who? Do you get I knew this one. Weapon enhancement, so, um, yeah. I think that would double his time, so, so 10 enough. years. It's up in the air with Ray and Matt. I feel like they could be split. Okay, you want to flip them? Yeah, you guys know the answer too. <laughs> okay, let me go Ray with five and Matt with two. All right, so show of hands, who did Raymond guess correctly? Okay, I knew hey, it. Dude, I knew this one. Years, bro. Yeah. Look at him, bro. That nigga look old as hell. I knew he did twenty, bro. That dude was crazy, bro. That dude did twenty plus years in prison, bro. This dude probably when he was like nineteen, eighteen, but that dude probably was the Asian kid that you couldn't mess with, bro. He was in gang and stuff, bro. So you know I do um what's that nigga name in Karate Kid? That one dude that that um Will Will Smith's son beat that beat the heck out of in that fight. Yeah, that dude that dude was a menace in that movie. He just like him. I'm no expert. Take a look, take a look. Go. Oh. I guess I'm all right. Yeah. Come on, man. You get him yeah. right? Okay. I mean you I don't know if that's a good thing, but <laughs> all right, well, let's talk about it. Myron, please step back up. Do you think the number you got was fair for what you did? Absolutely not, but I would never take my prison experience back. You know, just all those yeah. qualities that I gained and, and the person that I am today, I wouldn't be that person if it wasn't for that. What was the biggest lesson you learned? It's imperative to surround yourself with people that will hold you accountable and people that you can sharpen yourself with. You know, I got my degree. Um, I did my art. I worked out every day, like four hours a day. You know what I mean? Like I learned how powerful of a person around, I am mm. as a person, but I also learned how powerful we are as a people, period, mm. together. Appreciate you, my man. Thank you, Myron. I guess two years for you? Uh, how wrong was I? You were high. Okay. You were seven months? Yes. Okay, okay. You did seven months and drunk, like got out. Changed um, person, changed, changed person. What does change look like? Uh, clean and uh, mentally yeah, He looked like he used to do hardcore drugs strong. in jail, bro. What are you doing now? I, mean, I uh, work two different jobs, uh, one job in construction, and I work at a really nice restaurant. I said two years, seven months. And you think that's because, what, it's like your first time? You are white? It was my first offense, yes. But um, I also did was proactive before and did like treatment. So you followed so. all the steps they told yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, basically. Have you been in trouble after that? Nope, scotch free. Stay free and that's what's up. Man. I did not guess you correctly, right? No. Honestly, I'm surprised that you guys all guess high because I always get like, you've been to prison? Like, what is it about you that surprises people? I basically spent my entire time out in college and then I became an engineer. My mom definitely held it down like right in the beginning, you know? Yeah. I went in with a real bad attitude and just got really involved in politics and like made my time worse. What does that mean you got really involved in politics? Prison politics. Yeah, yeah. prison politics. Yeah. Prison politics, social structures. I went in and I got out and I went right back and I was like, I'm probably gonna be in here for a minute, you know, that's what I'm doing. So I just like, I was like, how do I get in one of these gangs? Like, what are you trying to do, you know? Who were you before yeah. you went in and who are you today? When I went in, I was a taker and now I consider myself someone that like puts back. Yeah. Okay. How do you put back? Uh, I also work with a bunch of nonprofits in the reform space. And then uh, I, I participate in 12-step program because I had a drug problem, you know, and like, so I do a lot of service with that. Good, man, congratulations to you. We need to like this. Hello, did I guess you correctly? Yes, you did. 
It, it happened when you were young? Yeah. yeah. I was 15. Yeah. Dang, 15. bro. I told 19. y'all this was on the main line at 16 years old. What the yeah. fuck? They didn't even give you juvenile life no. or nothing. You no. didn't. Damn. What were some other positive programs that you connected yourself to while you was in prison? In regards to the programs that, that were available, but mostly was the higher education programs, right? Like a lot of the uh, men behind me got our, got our degrees or pursued higher education. That's what they always had in place there. But I think if these young people would have had those resources to get a higher education out here, then they wouldn't have to get educated while incarcerated. Yeah, fat. What are you doing now? I get my income from doing work work through Rooted Community. We support folks coming home from incarceration with housing, employment. Mm -hmm. I was hoping to be the president of APICAG. Uh, I was hoping you asked about this more than anything. I read Apricot and didn't read it. Oh my God. I I, I misread (laughs) it. APICAG is Asian Pacific Islander Cultural Awareness Group. Uh, They're led by incarcerated men inside. We're an advocacy group. Uh, I've been released now for six years and I'm continuing to support the work and do the work on their behalf. When they first bring us into prison, they classify you. They ask you, what's your race and ethnicity? You know, a lot of people had to mark API. Uh, fast forward, in the, you know, in a racist prison system, everybody that marked themselves as API deal. Hi. We're visible. Oh, they the wireless I company that makes things visible. With us, what you see is what, what you do. So C consider them a gang. Yeah. yeah. No matter what. Like, oh, you're a gang. Well, you told me to mark API. That was the only category you gave me. Right. We, as people that wanted to do positive stuff in the community, changed it. wanted to change you know, the way people looked at us and perceived us and less of the impact when we go home and try to fix what we, the harms we cause. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. I think the one thing we didn't name in this, and he didn't name, is that a lot of the men that's obviously white in here had the lesser of a, the time. And the impacts mm. was probably yeah, different that's, on that's them. Yeah, the like, impacts on us. Lesson, so bro. then that, that raises my question. What is the solution then? Think about restorative practices. Resource, resource under resource communities. Give people what they need. That's good. Yeah, appreciate you. Thanks yep. Two Thanks years, seven right? Months. I said right. seven months. See, I wish I did seven months. I misjudged. So what did you do? What did I do? Yeah. Or what did I get charged <laughs> with? What, 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 yeah. I got charged <laughs> with uh, possession of MDMA with intent to distribute. I ain't gonna do that. So you're like guys. partying and then selling it on the side, kicking it? I guess it. that's drugs, bro. Full-time drug dealer. <laughs> oh. You didn't have to say all that. <laughs> Damn. You're good now, though, right? Because this is on camera, right? Yeah, <laughs> what did you do to keep yourself sane? And I was just having you- a lot of free time to read and like sort of figure out myself and just kind yeah, of you gotta find your passion when you're in there dog. Learn a lot so when you get out you can be locked in on life like, if I you do. ever get out do you have a favorite book or anything that's a guy like a book called Shantaram mm, what's it about uh, it's about this Australian guy who escapes from a really bad prison in Australia and then he goes and <laughs> lives in like have that and then he goes and lives in India and then becomes like an Indian gangster it's really good <laughs> what do you think about the judicial system super inconsistent like, he was talking about how the white dudes got lesser time. That's that's a fact. If I was a person of color, man, I would have been screwed. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Thank you, man. What was your experience? That like? shit was ass. Yeah. It was trash. Um, it this was dude, man, an opportunity here, to really you, see man, how... See off of this dude, man. Get this nigga some help, bro. Somebody call the feds, bro. It, it's, it, it, it's something, like, we don't know about, about this guy. You know what I'm saying? corrupt the system is. I mean, it's just a continuation of slavery, making money off black and brown people. It's really hard not to draw a direct correlation between people that used to be employed to catch slaves to people that are now police that are employed to lock up black and brown people. Right. Millions of jobs that people receive based on the backs of those who are incarcerated. Absolutely. For the last five years, I've been working in organizations specifically helping mentor so young black youth, give the positive role model examples, really uh, change the narrative, change some of the ideas and perspectives. One of the students asked me the question, were you terribly harmed during trauma before you went in prison? And for me, no, I was just black. First time I went to jail, I went to prison. Damn. I graduated high school, never joined no gang, I don't have no fucking tattoos, oh, got plenty of family support, I was just black. Dang, I said that nigga had tattoos. He like a normal guy like me in high school. One of them guys that watch anime. Well, I'm glad you're here today, man. Thank you for sharing. Man, I'm gonna give it up for all these guys, man. Kind of boring, but hey, man, we getting better, we getting better. Hey, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video, man. Um, Hey, y'all, we're gonna roll to 140 subscribers. 
You know what I'm saying? This has actually been great, bro. I, you know what I'm saying? I didn't think we could make it this far. I miss do vlogging every day at high school, though, because that junk was low-key getting easy. That was good content. The content was good. Now I got to figure out what I'm going to do. I was watching my old videos last, and I'm like, oh, damn, them videos was ass. So when we grab, after the graduation, so I got to figure out what I'm going to do, guys. I got to figure out how I'm going to be creative. I got to figure out how I'm going to keep people entertained. I got to figure out what can I do to be better for this channel. But, hey, I'm going to catch y'all on the flip side, man. I love y'all. Y'all, man. Let's go.